strategy? I don't know, man. This maybe I could sew it up there, but then I don't know. This is a whole nother problem. This is totally. See, I would totally drag this through the salsa. I mean, I get it. I, I hate knitting sleeves too. And I have a lot of sweaters that have this situation going on. I don't know. I don't know about this. sleeping all right go ahead go ahead welcome to day one of the vlogmas Woo! all right so and i'm calling this the weaver rama because i'm i'm gonna share 25 days of of weaving related stuff my studio is a hot mess i mean there's stuff everywhere and this is crazy because exactly one year ago, I started the 31 day studio awesome challenge where I cleaned up my hot mess of a studio. Well, guess what? This must be an anniversary thing because my studio is a hot mess again. So I need to clean my studio to make space. And this happens every time. I say I need to clean my studio to make space and then I spend the day cleaning my studio and I don't get shit done. So. I'm not going to, that's not going to happen this time. I'm going to cleanish my studio and then, and then we, we need to get cracking. I mean, this, this can't be a month long thing. It's pretty bad. Uh, maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. All right. I got to get cleaning. <music> This is Jerry. Mm. You helping me? Yes. Jerry. <laughs> all right, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Okay, I know. I, I should spend all day just loving on you. Go ahead. <sighs> all right. <laughs> It's not perfect, but um, done is better than perfect. So <laughs> drafting table's clear. It's in a place to where I can work on getting that the loom warped. This is my little loom. This is the one that I love, 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 love working on. And I've done demos on this. There was a question in our Facebook group. And if you're not a member of the Facebook group, I'm going to put a link down below. It's, um, it's a great place for people to share ideas and get information and it, I find it inspirational. Anyway, so in the Facebook group, somebody had asked a question about um, the. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Where the hell is it? Oh, yeah. Here we go. This, the 2.5 DPI. This is specifically for art yarns. Do I have my art yarn scarf here? Well, you'd think I'd be prepared before I start filming. Ugh! Okay, so this, this is, this is a scarf that I made using, using some, some thicker hand spun yarns for the warp. All right. 
and you can see that the weaving is really minimal. I mean, basically, basically I'm using some really super light weaving with lace weight yarn because, and I'm using lace weight because I want to really show off the warp. So I'm using some really thin lace weight yarn and it's basically just tacking these art yarns together. And I don't know if you've seen these. I have um, some friends who don't knit, but they make these scarves out of yarns that they just kind of knot together. This is kind of the same thing. You're really just going to use, and you can see there's a, there's a whole section where I just didn't weave at all. I just skipped it. And it, but it shows off that art yarn. Then that just leaves, you know, these loose art yarns right there. And it's just pretty much holding it together. And you can see I've, I tacked on some seashells. I wove this scarf while I was at the beach. <laughs> and so I'd go beach combing and find all the seashells that had the holes in them and used it as an accent. I'm gonna warp this loom with some art yarns using, oh, did I just lose this one? Oh, <laughs> this. First thing I need to do is pick some yarns. Let's pick some warp yarns. Let's start with this one here. Instead of, oh, this is a good one. This is a good cream color that I think I want to, because then that'll make that blue pop a little bit. I think that might be too much ribbon. Nope. Maybe I'll just do some white. No, that's too white. I need something kind of creamy colored. I'm going to throw that in there. Oh, here we go. Here's some good sorry silk. All right, I need to bring that blue back in, and this is probably the way I want to go, but I don't want to do... Well, what if I substitute that? No, I think I want to keep that in. Here's that blue in a mohair. That, I think, is going to be too dark. Maybe now's the time to add that white. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with this. I wonder if that... How's... You know, now that's working. Look at that. This is kind of working, too. But is that going to compete with this yarn? Yeah, it might. All right, I need something plainer than this. And I'm wondering if that... That's kind of interesting. I might go with that. And this is kind of cool. I might do that instead of this sorry yarn. This is a little plain, but maybe I need something with a little more texture again. This wild stuff. No, I think that's too wild. Now this is cool. That's kind of a simple. This also might work here. And this might work here. You know, I think that's starting to look too dark. You know what? I think I want to go more hand spun because I feel like I'm kind of moving away. Well, that's hand spun. Let me take this out. And maybe I pair some of these together. That might be the ticket. Maybe I'll start to go here. That's looking too much like that. Let me go wilder. Let me get back to this. This, 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 this. Yeah, I think that's going to be it right there. Oh, I keep wanting to put that in. Okay, so I'll use some of this in the weft. I've got this. Oh, here we go. This is what I want to use. I want to use this. All right, I'm not going to overthink that too much. I could probably go on a tear looking for my plain silk. So I'm going to stick to this. It's a little darker. And then this has this pink right here. I don't know if I want that. All right, so I've got these. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to love that. Here, this peach one is actually ideal. I'm going to kind of keep it to this for the warp, for the weft. And this for the warp. I'm going to stick that back in there maybe. I don't know. I'm on the fence about this. All right. So that's what I'm going to use for the warp. That's just generally what I do to try and uh, pull together a warp. I just start with a bunch. I might not use all of these. I might add something else, but this gives a general color family. And you can see I'm sticking with the neutral 
but I want this to be a highlight. So yeah, so when I'm, I'm warping the loom, what I'm going to do is decide where this is going to go. And usually I like it to be kind of off center. So I'll probably put it here and maybe do three here, maybe two over here. Maybe I'll do it in two areas and then fill in with the rest. Although this is pretty big. So maybe I'll do two here and this I'm going to have to, since it's so bulky, I'm going to have to do it in a slot. And I'm just going to do just one probably in the slot because otherwise through the hole, that's going to be hard to pull it through the hole. So I'm going to keep that bulky, bulky stuff through the slot. All right. So that's how you select that work.